This is the old 923 tour truck, uh, the Colossus. And we got the bed off, so she's naked. Gives us a chance to have a peek at parts and pieces we don't normally easily get to see. So, you know, we've got some of that transfer case interlock stuff. So you want to pull those lines loose and a few drippy drops of air tool oil on there. Got your inner air tanks and whatnot. Look at this rust pitting. Serious rust pitting on these rails right up here in the front. You know, um, the bed's mounted solid back there. And then they have these spring mounts, which allows the front of the bed to twist. So this is, you know, this part of the frame rail is always getting the, the crap beat out of it. So it rubs the paint off. Now, I got the truck out of Utah, though who knows where it came from before then. And I wonder if this is, you know, Great Salt Lake damage in here. Whatever it was, at some point, the bed had been lifted off. That had been sandblasted and then re-sprayed with the tan and then put back on. I just added an extra little layer of some rust preventative stuff. Other things that came to light. Um, once once I had the second truck to compare to, and once we had the bed off, we could see that these springs are bent. There's like a, a reverse arch, and some of the leaves are actually bowing uh, almost almost up in, in many ways. Um, you can see the, the gap right there. So this, this part of the pack has been bent up. I talked, or rather my father talked to a man who uh, uh, used to ship these for the military and he said that they, usually you find the frames have been tweaked because uh, when they were lifting them on and off the ships, they, uh, none too gentle. I don't know if it's true or not, but maybe it got dropped or just a life of overload and abuse for some reason. But the spring packs were bent. Frame wasn't, just that, that rust pitting. But that yeah, was an interesting, interesting idea. They look completely different when you take their clothes off, strip them down. The other one, it's fascinating. The bottom, or rather, yeah, the bottom two leaves right here on the, on the other, the 925, neither of those is painted. So it means that uh, um, basically you're, you're dealing with a, a spring that's been dismantled and the, the top, or I should say bottom, two, two spring leaves have been replaced on both sides. I thought that was fascinating. Uh, I wonder what provoked that because it, it couldn't have been easy. There must have been a lot of work. But it does allow us to see the difference in the two trucks. Um, the wear, the tear, the abuse. That one must have just sat out somewhere. It's got a lot of, I've been sitting for five years and this and that have dried out kind of problems. But, uh, you know, when you, when you ex inspect the axles, there's a lot less scarring from hitting rocks and trash and stuff. Um, when you go to shift it, uh, of course, the shift tower could easily have been replaced, mind you, but the little rubber tits are still on it and they actually poke your hands and you know all the paint is still in the in the the windshield wiper knobs and stuff like that so um, from what we can tell we, we think it only has 3,000 miles sorry 300 miles uh, it's not 3,000 uh, you know you can never touch the the gauge clusters but it's just there's, there's nothing. There's, there's, the paint is still on the gas pedal, you know, granted, could have been repainted, you know, obviously, stuff like that, but there's a real feel and difference between the two trucks. Um, this was going to be our backup, uh, you know, because it's already set. That's why we're leaving the, the bed mounts on that bed, that if, if something were to go wrong with the new truck, you know, tow it here, lift the beds with Swip, swap, I go back to work, and then we deal the rest of it later. So it was a bummer when uh, when that motor let go on the drive up here. Two brand new Michelins on the front of it. But that's what they look like naked. Sexy beast.